welcome back to the JSFL. We're here with the JSFL Pro Bowl number two. And here we go. Let's get right into it and jump into the rosters for North and South. Their starting quarterback will be Sean Richardson. Backup Seth Skies and Tony Dackerson, the rookie, makes the list. But depending on if they have bad drives, they will get subbed. So there you go. Um, halfback Taylor Little. Owen Castles and Willie Rogers make the list for the Pro Bowl. Wide receivers Wilbur Lamb get number one, number two. Hugh Brooks, number three. Carl Graves, who had that great catch in um, Divisional last week. So that was good for him. And then Landon Dante, the rookie, makes the list at number four. Tight end Sheldon Larson, Kurt Hammond, and Eric Shady. Offensive line Roosevelt Hayes from New Orleans. Edgar Shonson from Kansas City. Herbert Kelly from um, Detroit. Hugo Bell from Detroit. And Anzalo Diaz from Detroit. And I'll tell you guys, actually, I should probably. Sean Richardson is from Detroit. Seth Skies, New Orleans Musicians. Tony Daxon, Minneapolis Fishers. Taylor Little, Detroit Power. Owen Castles, New Orleans Musicians. Willie Rogers, Kansas City Wind. Will Berlin, Minneapolis Fishers. Hugh Brooks, Detroit Power. Carl Graves, New Orleans Musicians. Landon Dante, New Orleans Musicians. Tight end, Sean Larson, Cleveland Pirates. Kurt Hammond, Kansas City Wind. And Eric Shady, Atlanta Predators. All right, defense. Terry Lopez, Minneapolis Fishers. Jesse Mendez, Detroit Power. David, Med oh no, my bad. Right end, William Torres, De Detroit Power. Defensive tackle, Erwin Badger, Minneapolis Fishers. Kevin Coward, New Orleans Musicians. Outside linebacker on the left is David Medina, Detroit Power. Tyron McDermott for New Orleans Musicians. Middle linebacker, Nicholas Stone, Detroit Power. Gary Riley, the Cleveland Pirates. Right outside linebacker, Luke Frankie of the Kansas City Wind. And Chris Johnson of New Orleans Musicians. Corners, Jeffrey Lee of the Minneapolis Fishers, Zachary Bryant of the Detroit Power, Joseph Davis of the New Orleans Musicians, and Mitchell Phelps of the Minneapolis Fishers. Free safety, defense back of the year, Sean Flores for um, the New Orleans Musicians, and strong safety is Ricky Goldens, the rookie third rounder from Kansas City Wind. And that is it. Don't need to go through that. And then East and West, their starting quarterback will be Kermit Poe of the Seattle Natives. Terry Foster, the backup, the rookie from LA Earthquake. And Trent Hudson, the rookie for um, the rookie from Atlanta. Wait, hold on. Tight end. Eric Shady's on the wrong team. We have to keep him off the roster because he was not supposed to be. He is on... He's supposed to be on East and West team. That's kind of weird. But anyways, back to the roster. Halfback, Ross Williams from the LA Earthquake. Joey Adams from um, the Charlotte Bats. I don't know why I started on that. Eugene Green from the New York Businessman. Wide receivers, Albert Moore from the LA Earthquake. Tyler Jackson from the Charlotte Bats. Timothy Morgan from the Seattle Natives. Ron Foyle from the Atlanta Predators. Tight end, Salvador Jacobs from the LA Earthquake. And Sheldon Romero from the Seattle Natives. Left tackle, the rookie sensation late rounder, Payne Quartz from Seattle. Left guard, Israel Kubert from the Atlanta Predators. Center, Anthony Turner from the Seattle Natives. Right guard, John Joseph from the Charlotte Bats. And right tackle, Philip Barnes from the LA Earthquake. Left end, Roland Lemus from the LA Earthquake. And Trent Savage from the Atlanta Predators. Right end, Sylvester Carey from the Charlotte Bats. And Ernest Coleman from the Seattle Natives. Defensive tackle Peyton Wettis from the Atlanta Predators, Doug Dunn from the Seattle Natives, and Philip Fagg from the Atlanta Predators. Left outside linebacker Ronaldo Smith from the Seattle Natives, and Dan Marino from the Atlanta Predators. Middle linebacker Stefan Hernandez from the Seattle Natives, and Nell Wagner, the rookie from New York Businessman. On the right side, you got Eddie Spark from the New York Businessman. Corners Mike Carter from the LA Earthquake, William Fats from the Charlotte Bats, Tyler Holmes from the LA Earthquake, and Damien Targets from the Charlotte Bats. Free safety, Eddie Tide from the New York Businessmen, and strong safety, Josh Carls from the Atlanta Predators. And we will be back when we get to the Pro Bowl.
Here we are, the JSFL Pro Bowl getting underway as we got the East and West and the North and South in the Pro Bowl. As this is the stri second straight year, both teams, both sides have a team representing them in the JSFL Championship. So both teams are pretty even, I guess you could say. But we'll see who d wins this year. Last year, the East and West won. By a score of 21 to 3, it was domination. Herman Poe won MVP in that last year. He won MVP of the season this year, so he's gonna try to at least get one more MVP and try to win the JSFL Pro Bowl MVP. Both teams coming out. It should be a fun one here. As this is just one fun game where all the players like to have a fun time. Here comes Eddie Spark. He's hoping to have a big day for this defense as a bunch of all stars. They're finally on a good team, no excuse. We'll see which one has the better team though. Eugene Green will be your return man from East and West and they will start out with the ball. See who can win this one as we almost are ready to get underway. Here from Florida. Miami might not have a football team anymore, but at least they have the Pro Bowl. Here is the kick, and it is away. East, West, North, South. Who will win the JSFL Pro Bowl? Taking out to the 19, a nice hit from Chris Johnson. First down and 10, as here comes out Kermit Poe. Trying to lead his team to a win. Full of all stars, even though he couldn't get the big game win himself. He got taken out by Houston last week. A sad loss for Poe, not being able to play in that game. That comes next week, but maybe he can have some fun today. Here is the first down and 10 for East and West. Here it is, a screen, or not screen, it's a jet sweep and Tyler Jackson is down. We don't really count injuries in the Pro Bowl, so if he is injured for the game, it's just out for the season, I guess, because he'll be back next season. But it looks like he'll be good, just something with the shoulder. Trying to get Tyler Jackson involved early, and that's not a bad philosophy. He's a great player. And Poe, he's got all the weapons in the world. He thought he had a lot in, in Seattle. I mean, you got Albert Moore, Tyler Jackson, and Timothy Moore here. And throw on top of that, Ron Foyle. He's got some pretty talented wideouts today. Second down and 10 to 19. Here is the play action. Poe throwing, and it is caught. To the 34, 15 yard strike and a first down, east and west. First down and 10 as Nicholas Stone gets the tackle. Some of these guys have number changes just for this game because it's the roster. Here's first down and 10. It's a run with Joey Adams. And he's going to get to the 37. Let's look at this offense here for the East and West. This offensive line, we already talked about them. It's going to be pretty good. And then backs and receivers. We got Ross Williams and Joey Adams in the backfield. That's dangerous. Tight end, Salvador Jacobs. Best tight end this year. He was great. And this offense, no excuses not to win two years in a row. But they're playing up against a pretty good defensive unit who we'll look at in a minute. Here's Poe throwing and it is caught on the sideline. To the 44 and it's a first down east and west. Timothy Morgan 
Poe knows him a lot, and he gets him for a first down there. First down. Because they have great chemistry, and they're building it even in the Pro Bowl. First down, here's a run. Up the middle. It's a juke move by Williams. And he gets it to the 48, a seven yard carry by Ross Williams. Second down and three. As Sean Flores gets him down. Second down and three. Here is a play action, and he's going down. Chris Johnson gets in there, third down and 10. As he wreaks havoc in the divisional round last week, and he brings it to the Pro Bowl, going up against some of the best blockers in the game. Who was even blocking him? Did he have a blocker? He got in there like a bullet, third down. Third down and 10 now at the 44 yard line. Here is Poe throwing down deep. He's got a man and it's hauled in at the 20 and dragged down at the 12 and a first down for the East and West. As that one deep for Timothy Morgan as he finds a hole in the defense. Way over top. Nicholas Stone couldn't wrap up. I think that was Ricky Goldens that wrapped him, got him down. But I don't know, was Nicholas Stone on the coverage on that play? Because whoever it was, it got burned. First down and tennis. Morgan doing good early. Two catches, 51 yards. Ricky Goldens was the one that made the tackle. Here is a run up the middle. Williams to the seven. And let's look at this defense as we talked about how talented the offense was. The defense just as good. Irwin, Badger, Lopez, and Torres coming at you from the D line. Linebackers are really good. Medina, Stone, Riley, Frankie. All really good guys. And the secondaries. Jeffrey Lee and Zachary Bryant. Sean Flores and Ricky Goldens. Ricky Goldens and um, Sean Flores are from the south. And then Jeffrey Lee and Zachary Bryant from the north. So two corners who are very frank with each other and the safeties. Second down and five. Here is a run. Adams shaking off a tackle and he gets it to the six. One yard gain, third down and four. William Torres on the tackle. Third down and four. Here's Poe. Drops back. Poe going to look for a running lane. And he's sacked. Sacked by Sean Flores. And Flores is down. The defensive back of the year is down. But he looks like he's fine as well. Should be good to go. And it's fourth down as they force it as a sack on Kermit Poe. And now all they have to do is put through the uprights and get three. Here is a 24 yarder. Kick is up and good. Three nothing as East and West scores the first points of our game. As North and South will score heat. See if they can score it after we're done this break. Here's the kickoff, and it is away. Taking it at the four. Here's the return as it's Owen Castles to the 22, and that's where they start at the 22. As Sean Richardson comes out. He was pretty good this year. And now trying to lead his team of Pro Bowlers to a win. As they got dominated last year. I think Sean Richardson was actually the starter of this team last year. But he did not do good. I think he was 1 for 5. And like 
10 yards? I don't know. I just know he didn't do great. And then they subbed in Seth's guys for him. And Seth's guys is actually his backup this year, too. But they're actually not that too far behind him, either. First down and 10 for the Detroit Power. I mean, not the Detroit Power, Sean Richardson. And he's sacked on the first play. It's Peyton Wettis coming up the middle as he gets a big early statement for this East-West defense. And just because this is the Pro Bowl, I'm only calling half of it, I think. I believe Charles, I have to look at that again, but Charles Godin and Brandon Davis, I think, I'm not sure. It's second down 17, I think someone jumped, I'm pretty sure that was done, and here he finds Larson at the 22. Yes, it was, it was Doug Dunn as he goes offside, and they'll start. Team. Actually, wait, never mind. That's not for the Pro Bowl. My bad. I'll be commentating the whole game. My bad. Second down, 12 of the 19. Here's second down, 12. Sean Richardson and Tara Little, they're fluent with each other. See if they go on this play, and they are. Taylor Little up the middle, and he's going to get to the 21, two yards. The offense for this team, pretty good offensive line. I'd call this a better offensive line than the East-West team. And back to receivers, a little less than East and West, but they still got great guys out there with Hugh Brooks and Wilbur Lamb. Even Landon Dante and Carl Graves are really good. Third down and 11 at the 21. Can they convert? Here is Richardson. Gonna step up. Richardson going down again. It's Ronaldo Smith this time. And it's fourth down. As it's been a lot of sacks early. It's the offensive line seem unmatched. Seems like a mismatch for these defensive ends. Ancelo Diaz giving that one up. Fourth down and 20. Here's the punt from north and south and east and west. We'll get it right back. Taking it to 26. Here's a nice return. Is going to get it to the 44. As this is where they will start. comes out Albert Moore trying to get some more yards as he has none this game only one drive but he expects to be targeted just like he was this season from Terry Foster oh shoot I have to change something after this play because I forgot that's how I'm supposed to do it it was if they didn't get a touchdown quarterback switch which is kind of dumb but you want to make sure as many people get the ball as possible So Poe will have to come out after this play. Here is he though for first down and he's sacked on the play. Ricky Goldens, the rookie safety with the sack. As it's their third sack and we'll be back in a moment. Second down and 18, now at the 36. Here's Terry Foster for his first look. He's gonna hand it off to Ross Williams, his running back. And he goes nowhere on the gain, it is Third down and 19 now, as this offense is in a precarious position. Third down 19. Can Terry Foster convert? 
Here's a run up the middle and nowhere to go. I'm going to give Foster another shot because that drive, he didn't even have a chance really. Stone with some tackle and we'll be back in a moment as the north-south defense forces fourth down. All right, we're back. Sep Skies will be starting this drive for North South. Here is the punt. And it will be returned from the 11. And a nice juke. Another one. They're in the Pro Bowl for a reason. Owen Castles doesn't get to return for his own team because the other running back, Leonard Roy, does. But there he shows why maybe he should. First down, 10 to 28. I mean, he is a fireball on offense. I don't see why he doesn't return sometimes. First down, 10. First down and 10. At the 28, here is a run with Taylor Little. Little trying to get to the outside and he does almost. Four yards on the carry. Let's look at this defense for East and West. Roland Lemus, a threat. Payne Wettis, Sylvester Carey, Doug Dunn. Ronaldo Smith, Stephen Hernandez, Eddie Spark, make the linebackers. And your secondary of Mike Carter, Josh Carls, Ty, Eddie Tide, and William Fatt. It's a great unit on defense. They held that three and out last time. We'll see if they can do the same thing. Here's second down seven. Here is a run. Taylor Little once again gained it to the 36. Three carries, nine yards for him, make it third down. Third down and two at the 96, 36. Here is a throw to the outside, but it's shut down. Seth Skies finds Will Berlamba for no gain. And it's a fourth down forced by East and West. The Mike Carter with the tackle. I think I'm also going to give Seth Skies another chance because he will give them at least five throws, I think. Actually, we'll give him three throws because I think Steph Skies had at least, I mean, Richardson had at least that. I'm not sure. But he'll get another chance, so it doesn't matter probably. It's all fun and games anyway here at the Pro Bowl. Fourth down and three. Fourth down, here is the punt, and it is away. It will be at the five. Oh, no, all the way pinned down at the three. We'll start at the three with 38 left to go in the first quarter, and Terry Foster is pinned in a hole. And they're showing the sacks here by this defense. And they've been to the ball quite a bit. Three sacks. Those are all on Kermit Poe, but Foster hasn't even had a shot to throw the football, I don't think. Here's first down, 10 to 3 for Foster and Company. Here is a run up the middle. It's Ross Williams getting it to the 7. A four yard pickup, five carries, 13 yards for Williams is in second down. Second down and six now. Probably the last play before this first quarter is done. Five wide, here is Foster. Searching for a play, doesn't want to get safety, needs to get rid of it. Throwing it sideline. 
and gets it to the 10. Three yards for Foster. Ricky Gold is the tackle. Make it third down and three. down can east west just convert here's the throw sideline incomplete almost picked off and i think foster had a good enough chance there he had a shot to convert couldn't do it so he will be switched out next time fourth down The punt coming here from East West. As North South will get it. Owen Castles to the turn, man. Spins it to the 37. That's where it will start. First down and 10 to 37. Here is a run. It's Taylor Little. Little finding some space. And Taylor Little with the block goes out of bounds. Four carries, 38 yards for Little as almost would have broke it if he didn't step out of bounds. But it's first down and 10 for North South. Nice hole there. Nice block by Sean Larson, too. A little just went out of bounds. Probably would have got checked down, but who knows? He's nasty with it. Here's first down. It is a jet sweep. It's Hugh Brooks, and he's shut down on the play. Make it second down and 12. Stefan Hernandez on the tackle. Second down and 12. Here's second down. Big jet sweep. Little gets the ball and he's put down in the backfield. A good play. Defensively make it third down and 14. Josh Carl's on the tackle. Down and 14. Here's Skies. Searching. Seth Skies run out of time. And he's sacked from the back with Ronaldo Smith. And it's fourth down and 18. Big play from Ronaldo Smith. His second sack of the half. You see his ball now in the Pro Bowl. Punt now for North and South. As they'll give it now to a Trent Hudson. First overall pick led offense as they'll start the 20 yard line. So 
now Trent Hudson under center. Let's see what he can do on first down and 10 to 20. Here is a run up the middle, and it's stuffed right away. Williams. If he doesn't get started soon, they'll probably put Adams in. Second down and 11. The thing with this Pro Bowl is it's an easy find to replace him because there's so many good guys. Here's second down and 11, though. Second down and 11 at the 19. Here is a run. Williams getting shut down again. He is not having a day. Third down and 11 as Taylor Lopez drags him down on the loss. Third and 11. Here is Hudson. Hudson steps up, throwing, and it's caught over the middle. Albert Moore in the space to the 49. As we finally have a big play. Albert Moore getting into some room. Him and Timothy Morgan seem like the only diamonds so far in today. Obviously, everyone's a great player today, though. So it's hard to get open because you're going great against great. First down 10, 49. Here's Hudson throwing it, and it's incomplete. Hudson can't find the man, second down and 10. Second down and 10 to 49 now. Here's a run, Williams needs to find some space and he can't once again. He's got to be subbed after this drive. William Torres, two tackles, as Ross Williams can't get anywhere. Third down and 13. Here is Hudson. Steps up. Trent Hudson running like he has done a lot of the season. Four yards on the gain, making fourth down. And it will lead to another punt in this game. And so here comes the punt now from east and west. See how go to the sky and out of bounds at the 29. We'll be back after a short break. All right. Tony Jackson under center, first down and 10 to 29. Taylor Little, gonna get a little bit of space to the 35, six carries, 42 yards for him, second down and four. Here's second down, four to 35. It's going to be play action. Dackerson in trouble, and Dackerson goes down. Roland Levis, 26 and a half sacks this season, and now adding one to the Pro Bowl. They couldn't contain him forever. They contained him for a quarter, but Roland Levis breaks free. Does Tony Dackerson know where to run? Here's third, down and 14. Can north and south finally get into some field goal range? 
And incomplete, almost picked off. Zacherson can't make anything happen on that drive. Fourth down. There's another punt situation coming up ahead. So here is the punt now from north and south as east and west will get it back another time. Here's the return, gonna get to the 34 and that's where this north-south drive will start. I mean, east-west drive. First down and 10 at the 34 yard line. Here is a run. It's going to be Adams, and he's going to get to the 33 yard line. Second down and 11. As Taylor Lopez gets the second TFL. This run defense being great for North and South. Rush seven pass. Here's second down and eleven. Kermit Poe under center. I don't know if I said that before, but he's gonna hand it off this time. Adams. I mean, no wait. That's Ross Williams again. Third down and eight. Mitchell Phelps two tackles. Third and eight, here is Poe throwing, it's caught. A first down as he turns it upfield. Oh, and a nasty truck for Salvador Jacobs. First down and 10. Fifteen yards on his first catch as it winds down to the end of this first half. Ooh, nasty truck. As he put Jeffrey Lee on the ground. Here's first down. Joey Adams pitched to the outside. Adams fights to the 50 as he gets drugged down. As that was a nice tackle getting off the block by Ricky Golden. Here's second down and 10. Poe rowing over the middle. It's caught by his running back. It's Williams. 5 for 5, 87 yards for Poe. And we get to two-minute warning. Two minutes left to go. It's 0-3. East and West have the lead. Here's third down and four. Poe blitz as it's incomplete as David Medina almost gets to him there. Fourth down. And another punt will be underway. We're back as the punt will be underway. And it's a fake. They're going to keep it. And it's not going to go anywhere. They're stopped at the line. Good play first down and 10 as North and South get the ball. As the fake does not work.
First down, 10 to 43. Here is Richardson. Going to step up. Richardson can't get off the block, and he's going down. Uh, I don't know what Richardson thought there, but Payne Wettis coming up the middle. Second down, 16. Second down, 16 at the 37. Richardson searching, throwing, and it's caught. Hugh Brooks gets it to the 47 on a 10-yard pickup for North and South. Third down and six. Third down six. Here's Richardson searching, throwing, and it's gonna be a first forced fourth down now for the East and West defense. With a little more time left. They're gonna keep current Poe until no changes need to be added. the punt with 20 seconds left to go in the first half and they will mark them at the one what a punt and again they'll be pinned inside the five to start a drive First down, 10 to 1. Just trying not to get safety. Gonna give it to Joey Adams. Joey Adams finding room. And he gets a first down. And that'll probably do us for the first half. Adams ends off the half. Five carries, 15 yards. And a first down for East and West. That is it for the first half. 0-3 in your Pro Bowl. Usually think high scoring in the Pro Bowl, but not this time. It's been a defensive battle. 25 negative for the North-South offense in passing yards. Insane. How well these defenses have been. But we'll see who can figure it out for the second half as we're getting underway here in Miami. Nothing to start the second half, and North South will start the ball. Sean Richardson going to be the starter for this half. Here is the kick, and it is away, taking it into one by Owen Castles. Castles going to fight to the 21 yard line. First down and 10 for North South. First down 10 to 21. Here's Richardson. 
Searching, throwing, and he's got a man. Stiff arm to the 22. As he finds his man, but only a one-yard gain for this offense. Is there a negative pass yards, as we said? So they need to start going positive and not getting sacked. Dan Marino on that tackle, second down and nine. Here it is, Richardson throwing, and he finds a man. 4-4, 18 yards as he finds Wilbur Lamb, and it makes it third down. Third down and three. Make sure to tune in to the Jaceville Championship to, on next week. Houston, Phoenix. Third down and three. Here's Richardson over the middle, and it's caught. First down to the 37. And they're finally getting something done. Hopefully they keep it going. Landon Dante, the rookie stud receiver from New Orleans. Again, the catch there, Dan Marino on the tackle. First down and 10 to 37. Here's Richardson searching as he gets sacked and he gets it to his man, Hugh Brooks. They have chemistry and it's first down and 10. Two catches, 23 yards for Brooks. A first down and 10, north south. First and 10 to 50. Here is Richardson going to dump it off here to the 46. Four yards on the gain. Make it second down and six. Kurt Hammond. It's hard to see if these new numbers, so I don't know who this tell tells me. Tyler Holmes on the tackle. Here is Richardson throwing, and it's incomplete. Had a shot to be picked off, but I don't think he expected it to go over there. And it's third down six, big play now. Third down six. Here is Richardson searching off a blitz, and it is incomplete, almost picked off. Looking for his man, he drops it. Fourth down, I think he was looking for Dante, I believe that is. But Dante can't hold on, it was a great defensive play. Maybe should have put some more zip on it, but a nice forced hit. I can't see what they're, who they are because it's a number thing. So, here's fourth down and six. Use the punt, and it is out of the 18. As East West will get it back, and current Poe will get out there. It's first down 10 to 18. Here is a run as Williams is shut down. I don't know why they keep giving him carries 10 carries 10 yards as Lopez is going crazy in the Pro Bowl. Third tackle for loss today. Second and 11 now for Lopez. Well, not for Lopez, for the offense. Here's Poe, gonna hand it off. No, play action. Throwing it, gonna throw it to who he initially handed it off to. And it's gonna go back to the line of scrimmage, third down and 12. And 
as Joey Adams can't turn up field. Third down and 12 at the 17. Here's Poe searching, throwing over the middle, and it's caught by Salvador Jacobs. Well, it's going to be a fourth down, forced by North and South as the defensive battle continues. the punt now and to be taken in by castles we'll see what he can do got plenty of blockers see if he can get in space he's gonna try juking but he's met at the 32 and they'll start at the 32 538 let's go in the third First down 10. Now for Sean Richardson, the offense. See if they can finally break the zero points on the board. Throwing and it's incomplete. Looking for Hugh Brooks, but two defenders all over that one make it second down. Here's second down 10. It's a run with Taylor Little. Little finding some space. And look at Taylor Little all the way down to the 41. Seven carries, 69 yards. He's still doing his thing even in the Pro Bowl against the best. His second run for over 20 yards. Here's first down and 10. It's a run with Little. This time in the backfield wrapped up. Ronaldo Smith on the play. Good tackle for loss. Makes their job a little harder now here for the next down. Second down and 12 now. It's going to be play action. Throwing right as he gets hit by Peyton Wettis into the 44. Third down and 13. Assist defensive line has been insane. We're down 13. We'll see if they can convert here on a big play. Here's third down. Richardson throwing the underneath route. And he stuffed up big play at the 39 as Carl Graves is wrapped up. Fourth down and eight. Good stop by the defense as they didn't want him to get any closer to that end zone. Fourth down and eight at the 39. And they're going to try this field goal. A 56 yarder. See if they can finally tie this game up. And. 
and no, he's short. And East West will have great field position at the 46. So no excuse to not score now. Joey Adams, five carries, 15 yards today. Hoping to extend that and try to get his team into a further lead. He is first down 10. It's a run with Adams as he gets it to the 48. Second down and eight. Second down and eight. Here is Adams. Adams going to get spun down to the 49. And now third and five. I think this has got to be a passing situation. So third and five. Can the defense stay strong here? Here's Poe, searching, throwing, and he gets a first down to the 39, impossible field goal range. First down and 10, east and west, as he finds his receiver, Timothy Morgan. Four catches, 64 yards for him. Does he think he's the best receiver in yardage so far this game? Mostly after that big bomb in the first quarter, but yeah, still most yards. First down 10, it's a run with Joey Adams. He's gonna get it to the 38. It's, he's kinda struggling too, but not as bad as Ross Williams is doing. Here's second down nine to 38. Here's a wide receiver screen as he gets hit right away. Barely getting that off. I feel bad for current Poe to the 29. Tyler Jackson, third and inches. We haven't seen him since the first play. Yeah, she's the best offensive lineman, really. I mean, maybe the defense line is just amazing, but I don't know. Which is, both could be true. But I think the offensive line is pretty good from sacks allowed this season. Third down inches, Joey Adams. Finding daylight and for a first down for the East West offense. Here's first down. Poe searching. Poe looking and he's going down. It's Irwin Badger. Second down and 18 as Badger buries him. Nine sacks for this. both of these defenses combined in this game. It's been incredible. Defensively. For the offensive line, it's a nightmare. Irwin Badger getting there. Current Poe just didn't know where to go. Good sack there for North South. Second down, 18 at the 32. Maybe the last play of this first third quarter, I mean. Here's Adams and getting a decent gain to the 25. 10 carries, 33 yards for him. Third down and 11.
That's the end of the third quarter. 3 nothing. But East and West are finally getting back in the field goal range. As they try to put in a dagger of probably touch on here. Maybe do it. Or even a field goal, Mike. Because this north-south offense hasn't done much offensively. Here is third down and 11. Ho trying to make a play, throwing underneath, and Williams is blown up by Medina. Fourth down and 10 to 24 as North South finally gets the stop. the kick a 41 yarder to put him up by six and it's up and it's good 926 left six nothing your score here in Miami East and West lead trying to win their second straight Pro Bowl Here is the kick, and it's away. From the one is Owen Castles. To the 24, and we'll see if they can finally get something going. First down 10 at the 24. First down 10 at the 24 yard line. Here is Richardson throwing. He's got Hugh Brooks. And he gets it to the 32. 10 for 13, 56 yards for Richardson. Second down and two. Second down and two. Here's a run. Little stiff arm, and he gets it to the 32. Stops at the line. Third down two to 32. Here is a play action. Richardson throwing and he's got Hugh Brooks again. First down north south as they're finally maybe trying to get down there. Four catches, 49 yards for Brooks. First down, 10th, 49. Here's Richardson. Searching, throwing, and it's caught. Second down and five as he finds Landon Dante. So, yes, that drop early was from Dante because that was the same number I remembered. And second and five, Stephen Hernandez gets the tackle. Here 
Team second down five. Richardson throwing and it's caught to the 40. First down 10, 30 for 16. Richardson completion. And it's first down as Dan Marino gets the tackle. First down, 10 to 40. Here's Richardson, searching, throwing, it's caught. Oh, a nice juke move, and it's a fumble! As they finally get progress, East and West pick it up. As it's William Fats on the recovery. First down and 10. What a bad time to have your first turnover. As it's Sheldon Larson with the fumble. Number 25 forcing it. Let's see if I can see who that is. It was Tyler Holmes with the forced fumble. First down, 10 to 44. Ho. Oh. Play action. Rowing. And it's incomplete. Looking for Romero, but two defenders on it to cover right away. Second down 10. Here is play action. Almost was a sack, but he got away. Downfield incomplete. Looking for more. On third down and 10. Third down 10. Oh, stepping up, throwing, and incomplete. Another good defensive play. Make it fourth down. Looking for Timothy Morgan that time. No good as Morgan has to play defender. Ricky Golden's trying to make a pick, but no good. Fourth down 10. Here's the punt, and it will be in at the 20. Because that's where we're going to start. First down and 10 for North South. First down 10 at the 26 20 left to go in the game. First down 10. Here's Richardson. Throwing, he's got little to the 23. Starting down seven is Hernandez gets the tackle. Ten rush, twenty pass. Here's second down seven. Lit Richardson throwing. He's got Hugh Brooks and a first down to the thirty-two. First down, 10, 32, 5, 42, and ticking on the game. 
First and ten. Here's Richardson. Searching, throwing, and it's caught. Brooks to the 47. 17 for 20 for Richardson, 116 yards. Here's first down 10, 47. Richardson searching, throwing, and he's caught. Again, Brooks, this connection has been great in the Pro Bowl. They're players and teammates in life, in real life. Or I guess this is real life, in, in the league. Seven catches, 87 yards for Brooks, and they're bringing it. This might be their best game of the year, and they're, they're against the best competition. First down, 10 to 39. Here's Richardson. Drop back for a screen, but the pressure's too much. He has to get rid of it early. Second down and 10 to 39. Second down, 10 to 39. Here is a run, little up the middle, getting it to the 40, 35. Here is a throw, caught. Third down, converts the first. First down as they keep the drive alive. This time, third reception for Wilbur Lamb. He has three for 14. Here's first down 10, Richardson. Throwing, and it's caught over the middle. All the way down to the five. First down and goal. As the time's ticking out, they're finally moving it down. Three catches, 27 yards for Sheldon Larson. Getting a little redemption after he fumbled last drive. A touchdown and an extra point put him up by one. First down and goal at the five. Here is Richardson off play action. Throwing as he's hit. How many times have quarterbacks got hit this game? It's unbelievable. And there's still about nine, ten sacks. Second down and goal at the eight. Here is Richardson throwing end zone and it's caught. Touchdown North South as they want to win this game here and they're doing it late with 224 left and an extra point will take the lead. What a throw. Larson gets the lead. PAT up and good. And that drive, 10 plays, 80 yards, 356. 224 left to go. Can the West and East offense score?
Here's the kick. We have 224 left. We'll see if East and West can take the lead. Two twenty left and though. Take it at the twenty seven, first down ten. First down and 10 at the 27. 220 left to go. Can they take the lead? Throwing and it's caught. Salvador Jacobs. That's the 50. 10 for 14, 125 yards. For current Poe as he finds Jacobs, three catches, 43 yards. First down and 10 to 50. Two minute warning, 7 6. East and West down by one. Can they score? Here's first down 10. Poe. Rowan, it's incomplete. Looking for Romero. Second down and ten. Second down and ten. Fifteen. One fifty-six left to go. All they need is a field goal. Poe, throwing, and it's caught. Don't fumble, and he doesn't. To the 42, they tried desperately at that fumble third down and one. Timeout used, fourth quarter, third down and one, 141 left to go. Third down and one at the 42. Poe. Searching, running. To the 38, four yards for Poe. First down and 10 at the one. Three left to go as they're getting pretty close in the field goal range as Nicholas Stone with the tackle in. First down 10. Poe throwing and it's caught. Way down the field goal range is now. North South take a timeout with 110 left to go. Here is first down 10 to 17. Joey Adams finding room and he gets a first down to the five. Another timeout used by North South. First down and goal to five. 105 left to go. Can East and West score a touchdown, which would do a lot for them. Here's first down and goal. Poe shakes up a sack. Touchdown, East and West. As he gets in, shakes off the sack, and now it's a touchdown game. As that complicates it for North and South. I think that was Nicholas Stoney shrugged off. No, wait, that wasn't. I don't know who that was. 
Well, that was a great play by current Pogue and his team. The score late. Two-point conversion is good. He finds them, and it's a 14-7 game with 101 left to go. As East-West takes the lead, trying to get their second straight consecutive Pro Bowl win. Is the kick and it is to the end zone. Start to 25 101. We'll see what they can do for one timeout. First down 10 to 25. It is Richardson throwing as he almost gets sacked. And it's incomplete second down. Second down 10 to 25. 11 rush, 29 pass. Here is second down. Richardson throwing. He's got Larson to the 31, and they need to hurry up quickly. No huddle. 33 left. They have one timeout. Need to make a big chunk play. Richardson trying to make it go to overtime and he barely escaped. No, wait, that is a sack. Ronaldo Smith, his third on the game, fourth down. And they ha they're forced to use their final timeout, fourth down. They need to get out of bounds and a big chunk play. Down and five. Here is Richardson throwing down deep, and that is a game. East and West will win it again. It's, it's a great win. North South really tried, but couldn't win in the end. Great game we got to see here today. Really defensive till the end, but great game. North South closer than they were last year. It was a 18 point victory for East and West last, this year. I mean, last year. And this year it is a 7 point victory. So maybe next year they can finally get that win. Poe ends it, and they can't stop it with any timeouts. They got none left. Second down and 11. We'll talk about your player of the game in a second here as we'll look at the stats. Ronaldo Smith, he actually might win it because I don't know if anyone had as good performance as he did. It's 14 7 year final. That's 18 points out of the 21 were scored in that final quarter. What a great game we got to see for the Pro Bowl, but an even greater one we'll see next week the JSFL Championship. Houston Enforcers, Phoenix Gill Monsters, both 7 and 5 coming into it. Underdogs with the wild cards. We'll see if they can get it done. 
But here, all right, let's look at the stats, see who gets that play of the game. I'm going to give it to him. Let's see. B. And I'll actually, I'll, let me, I'll let you guys know in a second here. We'll go over the stats after. And yes, after looking into it, just a little over Sean Richardson. Your player of the Smith game is Ronaldo Smith. He wins it this year. Um, Sean Richardson, you see the stats here. Pretty good. He gets it right over, reigning over current Poe. Then Hudson didn't do bad. He was 1 for 232. Just didn't have a shot, really. Poe was just better. So they went with him. Foster didn't really do much. Neither did Dackerson or Skies. Uh, Russian game, Joey Adams. Had the most carries, pretty productive. Little was pretty good. Williams didn't do much. Um, that's pretty much it. Receiving, Brooks 7 for 87. Larson 5 for 41. Morgan 4 64. Salvador Jacobs 3 for 43. Lamb 3 for 14. 2 for 5 for Little. 2 for 7 Williams. 2 for 0. Hammond 2 for 14. Dante 2 for 53. Albert Moore. And yeah. Blocking, giving up Onslow Diaz 3 sacks. 2 for Herbert Kelly. 1 Anthony Turner. 1 Philip Barnes. Defensively, um, who led in tackles, Nicholas Stone, Dan Marino, Ronaldo Smith, TFLs, Lopez with three, Medina with three, and Nicholas Stone with three, and sacks, Ronaldo Smith with three, Payne West with two, one for Lemus, one for Badger, one for Goldens, and one for Flores, and one for Johnson. And that was it for the Pro Bowl. I'll see you guys in the JSFL Championship next week.